welcome dear students welcome to the final video for this chapter and uh, today we will try to conclude this uh, chapter with uh, this discussion now here we are going to discuss the last part of this chapter which was your water means uh, about water so let's start that today so water as we all know this is the form of water how we see it now a major part of all living organism that is made up of water these all things are known to us like human body has about 65% uh, and some plants have as much as uh, uh, like 95% uh, water then uh, it's crucial compound for the life uh, for the survival survival of uh, all living forms then another one is that it is a solvent of great importance so these above three they are used in our day to day life what we will be concentrating here is the chemical or the chemistry aspect of water where is water used and what are the different forms of water that we see and what are the reasons for that different forms or different state of water we will be looking at into here but before that let us see what other uses different uses of water i am just giving a pictorial representation like here it is used in agricultural agriculture it is used in industries here different uh, forms are given that where water is available it is uh, used for farming it is used in industries like sea water and aquatic animals and this is our day to day life where we use it for washing cleaning and uh, drinking purpose everything it is given here further some more uses are given we use it in cooking then we use it for bathing then lastly this is the form of water which is most important thing which is present on the earth and which makes the life possible on the planet earth so now we are going to discuss about uh, this uh, the chemical aspect or the chemistry aspect of this uh, water let's start the physical properties of water now in physical properties of water we have to know that what is the physical property means how it looks what is it its taste how it smells we have to learn all these things so let's see what is the first physical property it's a colorless and tasteless liquid we all know this water is colorless and it does not have any taste next is that the unusual property of water in the condensed phase that is liquid and solid are due to the presence of extensive hydrogen bonding now here this is a new thing for you hydrogen bonding now at uh, this time you just remember about this hydrogen bonding just a just a word is there hydrogen bonding which you will be knowing further about hydrogen bonding in your chapter number 4 when we will study about uh, the chemical bonding but at present you just remember that water condenses and it becomes liquid and solid due to this hydrogen bonding between different water molecules it has very high specific heat thermal conductivity is very high surface tension is there dipole moment and dielectric constant when compared to other liquids means in comparison to other liquids may it be it is a benzene or some other chemical if you are comparing it the specific heat the thermal conductivity the surface tension the dipole moment the dielectric constant this is relatively higher another one excellent solvent for transportation of ions means if we have to use transportation of ion just as you know that we use uh, water in that base batteries as a batteries because that is used in the transportation of ions and also in plants also that is used for transporting ions molecules required for plant and animal metabolism that uh, we know that we use to drink water and uh, how it is now due to hydrogen bonding with polar molecules even covalent compounds like alcohol and carbohydrates also dissolve in water means alcohol and carbohydrates compound they also dissolve in water so now let's uh, move to the next part here uh, next part is your structure of water now this is structure of water normally what do we know that the molecular formula of water is h2o now till now what uh, you have written here is Uh, means uh, till today till your class 10th level what you i have written is that the structure of water if you remember you have drawn it like h o o h in this way means two hydrogens are there and one oxygen is there but now here in class 11 what you will learn is that they have certain pattern of writing means this h o is not written however it is want so how it is written let us see in the gas phase means the water states in water stays in three form uh, the out of those three forms in the gaseous form water is a bent molecule uh, water is a bent molecule and here the bond angle of 104.5 degree and the oh bond length is 95.7 picometer now these all things are quite alien and quite new to you that what is this bond angle what is this bond length 
these all things you will be knowing once uh, you are there in when we will go in chapter number 4. You see at present if you are comparing if you are this is your oxygen atom and these two white are your hydrogen atom. So this is something the structure of water means it is written like in this way H O H. So here there is a tilt so this angle is 104.5 degree and the bond length means the distance from hydrogen to oxygen this length is 95.7 picometer this is the bond length. Now next is that it is a very high polar molecule now what is polar molecule polar molecule means the electronegativity of oxygen is higher than hydrogen so the cloud the electron cloud is more towards hydrogen that is uh, sorry more towards oxygen and oxygen has a negative charge and hydrogen has a positive charge so here two charge separation occurs so this is your polar molecule this type of molecule is known as a polar molecule next is in liquid phase water molecules are associated together by hydrogen bonds now I told you that hydrogen bond you will come to know when we will study about chemical bond but here you just remember that we know that gaseous molecules they are far from one another in case of solid they are a little near and in case of solid they are closely intact with one another. So this intactness means this coming near this is held by some force that force which works here that is known as hydrogen bonding also density of water is more than height. We know that this density of water is more than ice and that is the reason why ice floats on water. Now let's see that hydrogen bonding in water. What is hydrogen bonding in water? I know that you will not understand this completely because uh, this is a quite um, new one and here we are talking only about the hydrogen bonding in water and what is hydrogen bonding that we will be talking in chapter number 4. So hydrogen bonds are chemical bonds that form between molecules containing a hydrogen atom bonded to strongly electronegative atom means after the completion of octate uh, if any atom forms a third bond or a fourth bond then that is known as hydrogen and that bond is uh, called hydrogen bond and that bond is only formed with uh, hydrogen. Now next is here because the electronegative atom pulls the electron from the hydrogen atom the atoms form a very polar molecule but I say that this is hydrogen this is oxygen and this is hydrogen now this hydro oxygen has lone pair of electrons. Now this lone pair of electron they bond with this another hydrogen. Now we know that the valency of oxygen is 2. Now after completing its valency yet also it is forming a third bond with hydrogen. So this extra bond which is formed that is known as hydrogen bonding. Now when this hydrogen bond occurs the molecules of water different water molecules different water molecules they come close to one another and this closeness makes them solid or it makes them liquid here the last line you can see um, the hydrogen bonding makes water form liquid at room temperature next is the structure of ice now in case of structure of ice it is a highly ordered three dimensional hydrogen bonded structure means in case of ice the hydrogen bonding is very high here hydrogen bonding gives ice a rather open type structure with wide holes and these holes can hold some other molecules of appropriate size interstitially interstitially means in between suppose if uh, this is your eyes they are closely intact with one another yet also some space is there in between them and that space can be occupied by some other molecules or some other particles the structure of ice you can see it is something in this way this is where the bigger one that is your oxygen and the smaller one that is your hydrogen this is your structure of ice this is a hexagonal ice now chemical properties of water now chemical properties of water means uh, we know that uh, amphoteric nature amphoteric nature means uh, those uh, compounds which can behave both as acid as well as base they are known as amphoteric so here amphotericness you see this is your water plus ammonia that reacts to form this OH negative means we know that a compound which gives out OH negative that is a base so here water is acting as a base and in this case you see this water this has formed hydronium ions hydronium ions means H positive plus H2O so this hydronium ion this is formed by only acids so here water is behaving as an acid so it is behaving both like acid and base so this is known as your uh, amphoteric nature of water and here you see two molecules of water they are reacting together one is behaving as acid another one is behaving as base so this has a amphoteric nature. Now here redox reactions which involve water. Redox means those reactions where 
both reduction and oxidation occurs. So here you see reduction and oxidation means if any atom is getting attached by oxygen then that is oxidation here. So this is oxidized, sodium is oxidized. Thus from this reaction you can form hydrogen also. Next is water is oxidized to O2. You see here this water it is getting oxidized to O2 here. Another one with fluorine this water is again oxidizing to O2. You see this is oxidizing to O2 means with this oxygen another molecule of oxygen is being added. So this is oxidation reaction. Next hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis reaction means addition of water. To if any molecule water is added or to any reaction if water is added then that is known as a hydrolysis reaction. Now in hydrolysis reaction these are your products where everything you see in all the cases you see the compound is treated with water. Here everywhere we are treating with water and we are getting the respective products in all these cases. They are hydrolysis reaction. Another hydrolysis reaction is this when molecule of sucrose if it is hydrolyzed means if sucrose is reacted with water we get glucose and fructose. Next is hydrate formation. Now hydrate formation uh, if you have read, uh, read this one uh, gypsum gypsum or uh, your uh, plaster of Paris these two compounds plaster of Paris these two compounds if you remember their water is present see here coordinated water coordinated water this type of water this is known as coordinated water next interstitial water means this type means without a third bracket if it is directly present with the molecule then that is known as interstitial water and the last one is hydrogen bonded water hydrogen bonded water means if after the positive part and the negative part if water molecule is present outside in this form then that is known as your hydrogen bonded water. In statistical water means if this is barium chloride suppose BaCl2 then if this is barium this is chlorine they are formed in this way. Now if some water molecule is intact here inside in between barium and chlorine then that is known as interstitial water and coordinated water means it is a huge molecule well chromium and uh, 6 waters are present and they are bonded to the chromium atom directly so they are known as your coordinated water. Now apart from this in this chapter one thing was there like isotopes of hydrogen. Now three to three isotopes of hydrogen are there which you already know when is uh, protium, protium, deuterium and tritium these three are there. Isotopes means those elements which have the same atomic number but different atomic mass different atomic mass now what are those like in protium you have 1h1 in deuterium you have 1h2 and in case of tritium you have 1h3 means here the atomic mass is 3 here the atomic mass is 2 and here the atomic mass is 1 now another thing is that water means uh, that h2o that we have studied they are of two types water are, water is of two types now you will think that what is water of two types they are classified as soft water, soft water and hard water, soft water and hard water. Now what is soft water and what is hard water? Hard water it will not give any lether with soap. Now what is lether? Lether which you know is that fena means whenever you dissolve this, uh, whenever you dissolve uh, surf in water what do we get? We get some bubbles on in the water. So if the water is hard water then you will not get that bubbles or that fena or that lether but in case of soft water you will get. Now at your household if you use this whatever the water you are using that is soft water. Now what is soft water? Those water or that water which is free from heavy metals like magnesium, calcium, magnesium, calcium then those water they are known as your soft water and those water which contain this heavy elements those water which contains heavy elements like uh, calcium, magnesium etc or some big molecules of uh, sodium also then they are known as your uh, hard water. Now this uh, hard water they can be removed by means hard water they can be made soft. Now how to make hard water soft? It is done by boiling, boiling. First method is boiling means boiling of water it can make it soft. Next is your using of uh, chemicals like a uh, washing soda, washing soda, washing soda can be used to remove the, the hardness of water. So these two your, were your topics and uh, 
another one is your heavy water in case of heavy water what happens in place of h2o we use deuterium d2o why deuterium because hydrogen that is 1h1 and what is deuterium that is also 1 but in place of this 1 we get 2 means the atomic mass change but the atomic number is same means ultimately this deuterium is also a hydrogen so in place of that hydrogen we use deuterium and this d2o this is used as solvent this is used as solvent and uh, it is uh, prepared by exhaustive electro electrolysis of water means uh, its physical property it is similar to that of water and uh, it is uh, mainly used as moderator in nuclear reactors means in case of nuclear reactor this heavy water is used so this was your chapter hydrogen and uh, with this i end the chapter here and uh, thank you for watching the video till here thank you have a good day